Right now at 10, a mystery in New Jersey. The remains of a young child found decomposing and discarded in a Camden alleyway. Good evening, I'm Alexandria Hoff. And I'm Natasha Brown. Yuki is off tonight. The body is believed to be that of a one or two year old child. Now these remains were found along Mount Ephraim Avenue yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves spoke to the prosecutor's office about the case. She joins us now live with more. Alicia. Well, Natasha and Alex, the Camden County Prosecutor's Office has some serious concerns about this case. For one, they still do not know how this child died uh, before its body was dumped in a Camden alleyway, but they also don't know who this child is. At the moment, they do not believe this child was reported missing, uh, even though it's believed that this child has likely been dead for weeks. A disturbing discovery along Mount Ephraim Avenue in Camden. Authorities say someone walking down this alleyway yesterday afternoon smelled a foul odor and then noticed human remains covered in trash. That person flagged down a passing ambulance and later police flooded the area. Today, a forensic examiner was able to determine the human remains dumped here were that of a young child. The remains were possibly of a one to two year old child, approximately 30 inches in length. The race and the gender are unable to be determined at this point. An examiner couldn't determine gender or race because the body was so badly decomposed. Investigators described it as being skeletonized. They believe it has been in the alley for at least two weeks. I hope that the person who did it comes forward and, you know, corrects their mistake. A surveillance video near the alleyway has been confiscated and could eventually lead police to who did this. But right now, the most immediate concern in this investigation is identifying the little one whose body was left here. Authorities believe the child has not been reported missing because they have gone through all missing persons reports. We're seeking the public's uh, help with identifying any family members, friends, neighbors that may have had a child in that age range that uh, they're not seeing anymore and may be a little suspicious. We're asking them to contact us and, and help us out with possibly identifying this child. And Camden County detectives have sent the child's remains to a lab to try and get more information on gender and race. But again, they are hoping anyone who knows who this child could be, that that person or people come forward. Again, anyone with information on the child's identity or information on this case, you're asked to contact Camden County Prosecutor's Office. Live along the Camden waterfront, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you very much. Meanwhile